Hey viewers, something I get asked about occasionally is how to remove rust from a bike frame. So I decided to test some different rust removers to see how well they work to remove the rust from the frame and how much they affect the paint of the frame. The rust removers I'm going to be testing are a vapor rust, metal rescue, oxalic acid, also known as wood bleach, and distilled white vinegar. Now for the test, I went out and bought just a trashed, rusty, old bike frame and cut it up into bits and pieces so that I could use different pieces in the different solutions to see how well they work. Okay, so now I got these containers at the dollar store and I'm going to fill each one uh, most of the way full with the different solutions. Vapor rust first. Now this vapor rust is actually partially used, so but it should just work fine because you reuse it quite a bit. And the metal rescue. Now for the oxalic acid, it's about one tablespoon of the powder per gallon. I have a little over half gallon of water in this container and so I'm just going to dump these crystals in there like that. And then I'll stir it up when I put the parts in. And the vinegar. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stick some parts in each of the solutions. I want to make sure I stir up the oxalic acid, get it all in there. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and leave these parts soak and then I'll check on them tomorrow. Okay, so these have been soaking now for 24 hours. A couple things I did was after about five hours into it, I decided to go ahead and replace the vapor rust with fresh vapor rust. I just thought it'd be fairer, since the rest of the stuff was pretty fresh, to go ahead and use fresh vapor rust as well. So I changed out the vapor rust with fresh vapor rust, so that's been sitting in there ever since. The oxalic acid, I checked it out for about 12 hours, and it seemed to be working pretty slow, so I decided to go ahead and add another half a tablespoon of the oxalic acid crystals into there, so it's been sitting in there ever since. Also, uh, periodically I would take a nylon bristle brush and just kind of uh, scrub away at the parts down in the solution to kind of help clear away any of the stuff and just kind of allow the uh, solutions to better reach down uh, into the stuff below there. So that's been what I've done and so let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. We'll start with the vapor rust. Wipe this off here. And this actually did a really good job of removing the rust. It's nice clean metal here, so I'm not seeing any rust left on there. And I'm not really noticing any major color change from down here to up here, like that. And let's take a look at this other part here. Again, nice clean metal here. Got right down, got rid of all the rust there. Uh, there's a little bit of discoloration down there, but I don't think that's rust. That's down where the brazing is, so that could be just kind of the brownish stuff from the uh, the, the brazing stuff. And again, I'm not noticing a big color change uh, from uh, along there where it was down in the solution. So that looked pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at the metal rescue and wipe this away. And again. It looks pretty good. It looks like it cleared away the rust, got down to, to clean metal. Again, there's kind of this discoloration up there, but I think that's just the brazing stuff. But it did a pretty good job of uh, removing the rust. One thing I've noticed is this solution took on a bluish tinge. Um, this was clear, and so now it's kind of tinted blue. Now this part looks great, so it's nice clean metal here that it got down to, so it removed the rust. But one thing I am noticing is that the uh, part that was down in the uh, solution definitely looks like it's a lighter, more pastel version of the color that's up here. Kind of a little bit duller and stuff, but uh, I think the Metal Rescue actually kind of lightened up the, uh, the paint on here. It did a great job of removing the rust though, but it did seem to uh, lighten up the paint. Okay, let's check the oxalic acid parts. And it also have a very slight tint in there, which I don't remember. Now, I, I'm seeing here where it looks like it kind of got down to metal there, but it looks like sort of a rust spot up there. And it looks like maybe just still a little bit of rust on here. I think the oxalic acid maybe left a little bit to be desired as far as removing the rust. I think there is a slight color change from down here to up here. I actually kind of see a line there. So let me check this part here. 
Yeah, I can definitely see it like a line right here where the color here that was in the solution and the color that was out of the solution. So it did uh, seem to affect the color a little bit. As far as removing the rust, again, there's still like a rust spot up in here a little bit. And where it did kind of clean up the metal, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as like what the vapor rust did or even the metal rescue. It's still kind of like a dirty and there's still some it looks like still some rust on there so it didn't seem to remove all the rust let's take a look at the vinegar now the vinegar did not do as good a job as i would have expected it was still like i'm still seeing like rust spots that you know where that was down in the solution where it didn't remove the rust and i can see uh, a color change here uh below where it was in the uh, solution where it was not in the solution it seemed to lighten up the uh paint Again, there's still some rust spots on here that it did not remove the rust. And there's brazing up there, not a big deal. But it did, I can see a line right there. So it did affect the color of the paint. Well, I put the pieces back in the oxalic acid and the vinegar. They've been in there for about another 18 hours. So let's go ahead and pull them out and see what they look like. This is looking better. The rust that was on these little parts up here now is gone. It looks like there's still maybe a little bit of rust on there. I'm not sure, but like this other stuff looks much better. Yeah, this stuff looks better. I mean, you see the delineation between where there was rust and not rust there. Uh, I mean, this stuff all looks nice and clean up in here. But you can definitely see a line where it's a little bit darker here and a little bit lighter there. You know, so it definitely has a little bit of a color change there. So let's take a look at the vinegar now. I mean, this metal up here, that looks pretty clean up there. Looks like there's maybe still a touch of rust there. I'm not sure if this is kind of rust spots on here underneath the paint there. Yeah, and then you could definitely see a uh, color change between here, darker and lighter here from like right, nice sharp line right there. So this stuff is now looking much better. Maybe there's a little bit of a touch of rust there. And I mean, you could definitely have a delineation here, the color here, darker and lighter there, and maybe just a little bit duller there. So there definitely was a color change here with the vinegar. Uh, both of these two are acidic, so that could uh, make a big difference in why it like lighten the paint. I'm not sure. Where the uh, Vapor Rust and the Metal Rescue, don't, they're not acidic. They work through a different process. But yeah, so that definitely leaving this in longer helped. I like a little bit of rust is still there. So leaving them in longer, I think, helped remove a lot more of the rust. So I'm not feeling so bad about those, but there's definitely a color change there. Okay, so we had a, a close-up look at all of these. Uh, if I were gonna have to choose one to de-rust a frame, what would I choose? I'd probably go with the vapor rust. It just did such a fantastic job of getting down to clean metal there and didn't noticeably change the uh, paint color at all. So I'd probably go with the vapor rust. That being said, it's expensive enough that you wouldn't want to fill a whole tub with it uh, to soak a whole frame. So there's an, another method that I use for stuff like that and I'll show you that in another video. So be sure to click subscribe and the little bell so you get notified when that video comes out. If you did want to soak a whole frame in like a tub of solution, I would probably go with either the oxalic acid or the vinegar. It's kind of a wash between those. The oxalic acid is real cheap. It's just basically water with the add the crystals and make a huge batch of stuff relatively inexpensively. The vinegar, you're gonna to have to buy a bunch of gallon jugs of it to fill it up like a uh, little tub or a bag to soak a frame in there. So it's gonna be more expensive. Uh, comparing what they did as far as de-rusting, the Oxalic acid did seem to get rid of the rust, but it kind of left this little dark kind of uh, rough stuff on there where the vinegar got down to like cleaner metal than the oxalic acid. They both sort of changed the color of the paint, though looking at this, I would think that the vinegar actually changed it a little bit less than what the oxalic acid did. Did. So it's kind of a rub between those as far as cheap, maybe not as good or a little bit more expensive and doing a little bit better job. But neither one of those did nearly as good as the Vapor Rust. So I would go with the Vapor Rust. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.